Welcome back to the Taylor's of Tech Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I am joined by two AirPods and Nick and Randy. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm glad I'm the accessory to the accessories of Apple devices. I'm doing pretty good. Correct. Um, I'm joined I'm by one AirPod. Only wearing <laughs> one AirPod, exactly. Oh. I'm. You guys are solo. Randy and I are balancing each other out. The As we are game. in life. Exactly. Together. But Why do you, you do suck. one? <laughs> Why do you guys both do one? Because uh, the other one... Preser- preservation of the battery overall, that if it goes doo-doo-doo, I can move over to the other oh. one. And uh, it's it's more so... Actually, there's a few reasons, and some of it's kind of stupid. <laughs> but that's the first one. First one is that uh, we do two episodes or two shows, so this is probably going to die during this, and I'll sw- sw- switch over. The second one is that I feel like I put my head more in this position, so I don't have to showcase the, the, the camera magic of... Of uh, oh, I'm talking to you guys this way, and the third one is that in ear monitors, when at least musically, I, I'm used to only having one thing in my right ear mm-hmm. with playback, so it's kind of um, it's a habit. Yeah, <laughs> or in that case, it's more like like this. Why not use both at 100 percent and then take one out when it gets low and then charge the other one? So I I feel I've I've done podcasts both ways with both in and both out, and I'll switch sometimes. But when I have both in. Um, I don't get the feedback of my voice quite right, and sure. it, mm. I don't. I can feel that. I don't think it makes a t- big difference to the show, but it makes a big difference to me psychologically while I'm recording. Like instead of it sounding like I'm just muffled and I'm talking with my ears plugged, but even if I turn on transparency on the AirPods Pro, then I sound tinny and weird, um, and mm. you hear like weird hisses in the room, you know, air movement or whatever. And if you take one out, <laughs> I, I have the spidey sense. <laughs> All this air movement. <laughs> yeah, I like hearing my environment. That's interesting. I like I like being actually here when people always drive up. Like I think that happens actually started happening when I was waiting for uh, products to be delivered to the house last year, and I'm like, guys, it's here. Like I, it was, it's a habit that I don't think I've bro- broken at this point because now I like listening for things. I got to make sure what Kika's up to, man. Like sometimes she gets too quiet. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> this dog. That's people. interesting. I've never asked you guys that, and we're like we all wear different AirPods in different places and different <laughs> configurations every week. And I'm like, I wonder if people are keeping track of all this as it's going. They are on. now because you made it. You you, you made it. Uh, I brought uh, it up. You brought it up loud. So you next week the, I'm going to bring the third and a half wall. Yeah, next Randy, week I'm doing over ears now. Why aren't you wearing your more professional audio gear today? This one. Yeah. Or other professional audio gear that you may or may not be missing. <laughs> so, oh. Hey guys, let me tell you something I've been thinking about for the first time out loud that you haven't heard yet. I'm kind Wait of missing AirPods Max. <gasps> Ooh, yes. wow. you're feeling broke, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> feeling... <laughs> no. Okay. The not enough Apple bra in your life. <laughs> ouch! 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 Uh, my. Are you looking my... for something to do with that stimulus check, Mister Randy? <laughs> I'm, I'm quite stimulated. Don't you worry. <laughs> Maybe that's why your pods back. I'm exactly like 600 I'm with tax. I'm gonna let that resonate. I'm gonna let that just resonate what I just said a little bit longer. Oh. Maybe yeah. Apple would have. Apple would have priced AirPods Max dependent on what the second <laughs> stimulus check was. <laughs> oh, fourteen hundred dollars. Like, okay. Fourteen hundred. Okay, AirPods Max is twelve hundred dollars. You probably still have all the same defense arguments. Uh, we're gonna give you six hundred dollars of it. Go buy AirPods Max. I'm missing the the fidelity of, of the audio as a whole. I am. I caught myself. Um, uh, I have. I'm, I'm, I think. I, I think to only put things into context more. This week, I've been very music heavy. As mm-hmm. I've released music yesterday and stuff, and um, I. I had to do a lot of playback um, within within this week specifically, and I was using mm-hmm. these, and, and these things have been glued to me, and I and they serve its purpose. <laughs> but when I yeah, just imagining though, at the, the beginning of this week, Randy got out a <laughs> bottle of crazy glue and just put it around the earmuffs yes. and literally glued. <laughs> Can you guys hear me like this? Very very muffled. Yeah. All right. I just I just curious about how the mic works on this. Um, these things have been on my ear, and um, n- and not just with Twilight, but other things I'm working on. Uh, I'm listening to it. And I'm like, this sounds amazing. And he's binging the Twilight series with the headphones on. For those curious, oh. 
But my version he has really the wants vampires. that immersive. Yeah, <laughs> your version has the <laughs> best looking video. It it really does. Kudos, Nick. Kudos. Um, <laughs> for someone who's never done it before, kudos. That that was hard. Um, but it was hard all day. But I am. I can't forget the emotional response that I had uh, trying it out for that week of just outside when we were doing uh, the 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 trailer for the new series mm-hmm. five. Uh, when I was reviewing it when I first got it and I was listening to music and then just randomly uh, walking through the house or outside and having transparency. There, the technology, it has resonated with me still and just the playback. And what I'm really missing right now is I've been going through some uh, other catalog of music, just listening to really uh, anything. And, and I'm like, man, this sounds good. This would sound better with those headphones. And like, I, I immediately default like this. I can actually mm. vibe to this more with those headphones. Mm. And I, I hate, I hate that as time passes, I'm becoming less. I'm becoming more dismissive of yeah. the five hundred and fifty dollar price tag, even though I'm very much like that's the <laughs> elephant in the room. And and because of that, I'm still not going to buy one. But mm. if some, if I could buy it used. If I could get it like at a at a relatively cheaper discount, I think. Wait for the Mac uh, to college bundle. There you go. Oh, listen. Then you'll get your don't, MacBook Pro. You could, don't do this to me. You could don't switch you and your entire family <laughs> to Visible and get them enough uh, free gift cards to get an AirPods the, Max. How, the headphones wearing them and, and it being comfortable, like in the moment of just sitting there, and uh, like when I'm in the office. I'll, I'll, I'll raise my desk up and I'm just standing here and I'm doing my thing and I'm pretty stagnant at this location. And when I'm like this, I don't feel the headphones. And as we talked about before, when I move my head around, that's when I start to notice it. Mm-hmm. But all week this week, as, as a week I was really been, I've been grinding a lot and how I predict most weeks to be going forward. Like if that is my ideal setup, I kind of wish I had those headphones Ooh. because wow. it, it, would, okay. it helps me. Interesting. And I use my monitors here. Uh, they, eh. Not your screen yeah, you know, monitors, your audio like. monitors. Yeah. Okay. My, uh, my, to my, monitor my, the sound. The monitor sound. These things, all right, because somebody asked about this mm-hmm. in a comment. This is what I use. And I use them, and they have their purpose, and I have to listen to play back that stuff. But uh, when I'm not doing, like, engineering, and I'm just working, and I have that being played, there are times where I'm doing Final Cut. And I'm like, I wish I had these headphones right now. I can hear things better. Mm. Uh, just mm. balancing audio, uh, helping Nick troubleshoot something earlier this week. A part of me goes, I kind of wish I had the headphones. I can hear it better about fixing something with him and Mike. Uh, I just, I'm finding myself in situations where it's like, I'm, I can get by as I have been, but it's like this, those headphones would have helped. It's not worth the price tag, though, and I stand by that, so I'm not going back on that. <laughs> but I it's really... Like, I kind of want them, but they're I, not worth it. <laughs> I, uh, no, no, I want them. They're not worth it. I would not. I would get the black <laughs> or space gray ones. Sitting right here, I'm like, oh, this would be so cool right now. And I just honestly, Drew, I know you didn't see it. I walked out of this office uh, last two months ago, whenever Nick was here, and I went downstairs, and I saw Nick on my couch, and he was just... <sighs> Vibing, and I was like, <laughs> I was literally I, and, the and cat. Nick, knowing Nick that he doesn't bump his music like that, and I saw him going like that, and and he didn't even know I was there. I go, that I want that. He he looks so ser- <laughs> they're so serenity right now, serene. I need I the zone. That. Yeah, I want that. So. They need like a full helmet you can put on, <gasps> it covers your yes. face, and you just call me have Boba a ball Fett. over your it's head. It's a sonic cocoon of bliss. Is that what Call we need? And it has Sandy like an Cheeks. iTunes Visual- visualizer. <laughs> yes. Bring the iTunes visualizer. On the inside. <laughs> you can just like, I don't know, uh, uh, use certain legal drugs and then put that on. And certain just- legal drugs? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Family friendly folks. completely engrossed in the content. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Taking so it to That's interesting. So. Hi. You're you're looking for a reason to get them, or looking for a, a discount of some sort that might push you over the edge. You just don't if, want to pay full price. I don't want to pay full price, and I don't wouldn't pay even a hundred dollars cheaper. And mm. I and I still stand by that. Um, I think four hundred is is you I could would do pay it four hundred four thirty. Uh, 
And if I'm also being honest with myself and with you guys and you guys at home, um, I, the money needs to go towards a new Mac. No, I need we a only Mac want more lies. So bad. Uh, here's how, Drew, you, you, once you said it to me that one time, and it's been in my head ever since, I was exporting something. Every single week for the Hump Day show, I have been late because I I'm just waiting. I've heard you complaining on a Hump Day show every week. <laughs> You're like, uh, I can't. Uh, this Mac. I, this, this Mac <laughs> is hurting my productivity. I was exporting yes. one thing that took over Big 27 time. minutes, and I was like ready to go live and click and go. And if it wasn't for us and the stuff that we have here to do the podcast, I would have the same mm -hmm. issues. But just exporting something has become literally impossible that's not even wow. uh, uh, a gig. It's like 327 megabytes, and it took almost mm. 30 minutes. There was no reason for that. So 30 minutes. It, yeah, I can't. Wow. I, I, I'm so upset. I am desperately needing a new Mac OS device before AirPods Max or anything else. As much as I wanted, I, my productivity is suffering so much so that I think I needed. I, I might take next week off. To I, I'm trying to fix some things between now and then, and I might not have time. But um, this has actually become work stoppage for me. And um, you I, found I'm, the limiting factor, and it's not the headphones. Ooh, it's not the headphones. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Yeah. laughs> I, I wonder what something. chip times are like on uh, some of them M1s. February M1 M M1 M1 Max M M M1. <laughs> See. I was, you had me pretty well convinced, Randy, uh, after we, we hung out a couple weeks ago, and I brought the uh, M1 Mac Mini, which is the base model, 256, 8 yeah. gigs of RAM, and we were messing around with it. We were exporting stuff. We were using Final Cut and all that fun stuff, and we actually filled up the entire oh hard God. drive uh, with a Final Cut Pro library. With How like, did I you fill such a hard projects. drive? <laughs> you know, it's, it's such a small hard drive. Um, so it was, it was at that moment where I was like, oh boy. I cannot keep using this. Is a this is not gonna work. This can't work. Nick started but literally sweating because he's like, he Nick Nick went. He goes, <laughs> how can one video file eat up the entire part? And he's sitting there. He, I put. I, I was just <laughs> like, I put. I put four. Or I, I don't know. Twelve gigabytes in, and now he it's went, like. He went to <laughs> and he went to the little Apple, and he goes about this Mac, and he moves over to storage. Mm -hmm. the sto it wouldn't even load it because it said there was not enough memory <laughs> to do it. And he goes, "This is impossible." And he, and he's sitting there, and he's like, "I can't. I, I'm I, I'm at a stoppage. I can't. I can't do anything." So then mm -hmm. we learned the whole get rid of rendered uh, files in in Final Cut, mm -hmm. which freed up the whole SSD. But he was panicking. I'm like, and I was sitting there like. I, I can't was. do this either. I was thinking like, <laughs> yeah. oh man, I can't get this Mac if I wanted to because that, that's my problem right now. Literally right now. Well, not that See, model. I fixed it though. Okay. I fixed it. I got, I had an old SSD laying around, just an old laptop SSD. Of course you did. Half a terabyte. I know. Well, it was, yeah, anyway, it was just laying <laughs> around. And so I put it into a little hard drive, a USB 3.0 hard, hard drive caddy. And... <laughs> I was like, I wonder if I can just make the library, the Final Cut library on this external hard drive mm -hmm. and then, you know, have a whole half a terabyte to work with. Mm -hmm. I have, and it's been perfect. I have three or four projects going at any one given time. Um, right now there's 300 gigs used on it, and I can purge it at any time. My internal hard drive is uh, has still has 150 gigs available. Mm. And while we're at it, I just plugged my terabyte spinning hard drive in there just for extra storage. So now I got like... 1.75 terabytes of storage and the little mac is so quick and snappy and fast Good. and it's so pretty and cute and i'm just like oh this is perfect so highly recommend the cheapest mac mini with a large ssd mm. because that fixed the data issue and everything's just smooth sailing i wouldn't I recommend it. that one but it is a different variable has adjusted now uh, at least where i am i don't know about where you are randy but yeah. the maxed out mac mini would deliver in like two weeks if okay, you ordered one on. now also check b h photo check b h okay. photo they have higher spec models that are actually available to ship right now mm -hmm. b h photo b ampersands h photo uh never heard of their &H. photography and videography you haven't heard of b h randy Come on. You're no videographer or photographer or audiophile. b and <laughs> is where the pros That's go. That's a lie. Because I think... I'm oh, sorry. Professional source since 1973. Uh, the the one with you know all the RAM and all the storage possible would be what I would recommend. But it's funny you ran into storage issues because I also ran into storage issues this week. So I'm <gasps> the way you're... Okay. 
the way you're complaining about 256, I'm complaining about two terabytes. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I have been filming a comedy series on Telos of TV with my wife, and mm-hmm. that takes up a lot more space than the average tech or EV video because it's normally like I stand, I talk for 10, maybe 15 minutes max, and that results in taking up some space. And normally, I, I don't. I, I typically do not keep any of the raw files. Once I'm done with the tech or EV vid, I delete all the raw files. But I'll. I like to keep the completed version because it's not that much space. Usually, a completed tech or EV vid is like a gig or two. And just in case YouTube crashes and burns, or I need to start mass uploading to a different platform or something, I just like having at least one backup because I don't have a lot of backups. <laughs> but mm-hmm. the one to one to two gigs have stacked up. And I was trying to import all this footage from the skit we filmed yesterday, and it kept saying, like, out of space, out of space. And I was like, oh, let me go delete all the uh, raw files I haven't deleted yet. And I checked. All the tech raw files are gone. All the EV oh, raw files are gone. Oh, all the vlog no. footage is gone. So there's nothing to delete. It's literally just oh, no. the <laughs> the episodes of one to two gigs each. Basically, oh. half of 2020's videos I've ever posted were taking up oh, around... Wow. 800 gigs and i was like well oh, no. i gotta break out the five terabyte so it's not an ssd but it was really cheap i bought it through yeah. apple with the apple card of course and i got my my cash I back it, and man. it was like the the cheapest quickest way to get five terabytes so i've been offloading a bunch of uh, old episodes onto it and that cleared up my hard drive again but it it reminded me of like yeah this is why i don't want to go two terabytes again <laughs> Two terabytes. Mm. Uh, uh, okay, so that's why you're saying you can't recommend the Mac Mini or any of the M1s right now. No, 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 no. For you, I would recommend two terabytes because you're not filming 4K at 60 at like 40 minutes a week no. as fact, much as I am. To be honest, what, what, what has uh, deterred me and changed my work workflow is I don't think I'll film 4K anything. Yeah. Uh, I, I, let me, can I, I, I will preface by saying the Exception will be when I do very high polished production stuff. I will do it, not skits. Mm-hmm. The thing I did with Nick and I, like he was like, "How are we setting up the cameras?" And I'm like, 30, 1080 and and that, and just yeah. leave it at that. Um, and you're just the the con- the amount of those you're doing. Like in my workflow, it involves I, I, in 2021. I'm trying to do four pieces of content a day, right? And that also mm-hmm. includes that, a short. That's impressive. a lot. So, of stuff. these podcasts, uh, thank God, uh, on my end rec- recording, <laughs> we're not doing it. The only thing I would do 4K, and in whether it's 30, if I was to do 4K, it's because I am doing. A very high, and I couldn't even do it with the music video because I knew it was gonna what was gonna mm-hmm. be my SSD. Otherwise, I would have done it. That's an example of something I could have done, but I've been limited to do that. And so instead, sure. 4K, like if I need to do any type of B-roll, talk, you know, cyber truck, anything like that's 4K. That 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 I will not compromise on. But the fact that I have to compromise for anything else is where I'm like, oh, and you drew, like, oh my god. 4K at 60 on not just one yeah. thing, not just two things, but so many things a day is... is the shorts are the most... I'm sweating it's, for it you. sucks, too, because the, the, the reason it's been difficult to prioritize like comedy skits is because you will put so much time into the writing, yeah. which I loved yours, mm-hmm. your guys', by the way. That was wonderful. Thank Nick's, you. Nick's acting was also <laughs> Thank you. 100%. That was incredible. <laughs> like, I, I, I died of laughter when you said, he, it was someone, all the someone said that's really bad. <laughs> Nick, I just started Nick goes, he goes, oh, what but, do I respond to that? Just be like, yeah, dude, this is bad. He goes, okay, got it. And so then he goes, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, like, this is bad. I said, yeah. it's going to be good. People love it. I'm like, that's such a yeah. Nick thing. <laughs> that was wonderful. But like you guys can attest, like all of the time that goes into the script, yeah, and then the filming and get it like it's really hard when you're doing comedy series to get things on the first take because you start laughing yep. or something else comes oh, yeah. up and you're like, oh, you know, it would be better, you know, it'd be funny. Mm-hmm. And with me and my wife, we're just we're both doing that constantly of like, sure. oh, that line doesn't make sense or that's too awkward or that let's not do that, let's try it like this. So. For my editing style, it's more time consuming if every time we stop and want to do something again, we stop the camera because yeah. then there's just more footage mm-hmm. to sort through. So it's easier for me to just leave the camera rolling, try a take, yeah. 
if it doesn't work, just try it again. Otherwise, I have to sync up all the clips again. Yep, and yep, I don't yep. know, okay, is this yep. the right clip? Is this the wrong clip? I could just go to the last one. So even today, it was pretty time-consuming editing. And you do all that work and you put all this effort into a skit. And then the video is done and it's like two minutes. <laughs> and you've put hours and <laughs> yep. hours into it. And, and YouTube watch time world, that's like... Two minutes. Yeah. Who cares? You're, yeah. We're getting you what is that? fractions of a penny for that kind of money. So you put all this work into it, and it makes like nothing. But that's not why we're doing it. So we're just doing it because we enjoy it and it's fun. But either way, this I want to keep for doing. You. It's, it's it's for you. Yeah. It's it's, it's I, I want to keep yeah. doing the skits, and I want to. I have more comedy series planned and more more of that stuff I want to do in the future. So with my current workflow, I'm like this ain't slowing down. You know, with with mm -hmm. this amount of editing, and I, I'm if anything, I want my computer to export faster if possible. It wouldn't make a huge difference, but it would help. And I I, I think I could get by with four terabytes. I've said for a long time I want to go eight, but also the the eight terabyte upgrade is so Expensive. much. It's yeah. like twelve hundred dollar increase oh, to go to eight. Which I mean, it depending on how they price the IMAX, I might be able to justify it. Like. If if the larger variant, the thirty two inch iMac or whatever, starts at two thousand, yeah, and it's just an extra twelve hundred to get eight, I would be like, okay, I'll do eight. But if it starts at like four thousand or something like that, and you have to <laughs> cool. go past six thousand to get eight terabytes, I'll be like, eh, four is fine. I could probably live with four. But for for your workflow, which involves a lot of live streaming and audio mixing, I would say. I would still recommend two terabytes on the mini just because even local storage having that breathing room is helpful. I, I would say like get a two terabyte SSD and then an external something when you need it. Like when you need to offload stuff that you're not accessing all the time, that's worked really well for me. Is like yeah the 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 cyber drive that's what I call it because it looks like a cyber truck. The 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 little <laughs> Lassie drive I got was really cheap and no the storage on it isn't fast because it's still spinning disk but yeah. Um, I, I didn't need it to be like quick storage. I needed just I want it, I want these backups to exist, but I'm gonna access them maybe once a decade. So <laughs> I've gonna just the most amount of storage possible for so the lowest my, price. Here's what I'm looking at right now: the the uh, B and H photo thing. Uh, I can get the seventeen hundred dollar maxed out everything and get it by the third. And Apple Card, you get a three percent back on Apple Card. Can I pay with Apple Card? Yeah, uh, Apple Pay. You get like three percent back. I thought it was two percent. Deal was it two percent? Because it's not. Well, Apple. Apple Pay is two percent everywhere. But if you're buying it through Apple, it's, 3%. it's one. It's one percent. Who cares? Like, yeah, yeah. Just, I, I, if you can point. get it faster on B and H, I would recommend B and H. Yeah, I, I, it's worth the one yeah. percent if I can get it by the third, as opposed to the sixteenth and beyond uh, for Apple. Do you know the Apple. return policy, Nick? Uh, B and H's return policy. I'm not very familiar with it. Uh, okay. I have never tried to return anything with B and H, but I'm sure they have one. I'm, I'm sure they. Do I'm sure too. too. I'm just wondering if it's it's probably either two weeks or four week return policy. So, here, so if here, uh, probably probably for photography gear, not much of a return policy. But I don't know about their computers. I I'll just my, my my issue that I have though is I can buy this right now, and I. The the issue is the the like it's a still a placeholder. Thirty days. Thirty days for the Mac. Mm hmm. It looks like it. So my issue is is that I know it's a placeholder, knowing darn well that I want that fourteen or sixteen seventeen inch uh, uh, MacBook Pro, you know, later this year with the SSD. Yeah. Or with the S SD card reader and all this. Stuff. Like for me, it's like it's a good stopgap for what I need, and I might do it. But now I'm thinking, like, how am I going to sell this thing in a couple months? Because mm. I'm not going to keep it. And, and, and it's going to go against, really, it, it's, it's the price difference, right? I'm going to pay 1700 plus tax now. And how much am I going to be able to get it for? And whatever that difference is, that's the cost of doing business just so I can continue working right now. And mm. just so I can dump the real money into a MacBook Pro later. Um it's I honestly Randy I don't see the need for the upgrades I still think the $700 Mac mini is what you need dude mm. I have a lot of stuff that's uh, <laughs> I have three different SS or external hard drives that I keep reverting back and forth with uh, logic mm -hmm. files that I'm working on and I have other project files from Final Cut but there's I, plenty I, of IO in the back just leave them all plugged in I know but the thing is 
it, it and it's only for a few months my issue is is how am i gonna hmm. it, it, it's the cost of doing business that i'm, I'm racking my head and i hate the unknown see it's, what you've done apple this yeah. is the stupid <laughs> silicon transition you've thrown us all off <laughs> no it, we don't it's, know it's, what it's to the buy when too to... good now apple they need to be worse <laughs> and more expensive the cost of doing business is where i'm at where i'm like i don't know what i i don't know what it's gonna cost me to sell this thing and that's what, what if I hit a situation like you, Drew, where like nobody's going to want it, and then I'm stuck with it? I don't think that'll happen just because this is this is the Apple Silicon Mac, so they're not transitioning away from that. And the Mac Mini, even in its heyday, was not updated every year. Like Mac Looks Mini like, was typically uh, like every two years they would tweak it. So here, here's my case <laughs> in defense of the Mac Mini as uh, speaking to the court. I would like to just say, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that my prediction is that you should buy the Mac Mini as if it's going to be your f forever Mac. I know that's not forever, but you know, for the foreseeable future, because um, the MacBook rumors are still rumors, and I still say there's a decent chance of them not coming out as soon as we would like. That's happened every year. It's always like, oh, this will be out by this time, and then it ends up being way later. So if it's a very well possibility, we don't know right now. It'll be always hindsight uh, in twenty in 2021. But <laughs> <laughs> at this point, we don't know. It's very possible we might not get that refresh you know, SD card with MagSafe MacBook Pro until like October or November. And it's February when you guys are listening to this. <laughs> and... Like the amount of time and the amount of slowdown your current iMac is giving you that's preventing you from working, I don't think justifies waiting for this long. I, I think yeah. this is a, I'm glad we're talking about this on the podcast because this is a situation a lot of people I talk to on either Discord or, yeah. which I don't agree with everything Discord does, <laughs> whether it's on <laughs> Max or <laughs> I just use the platform, okay? <laughs> We have to have disclaimers now. We gotta disclose that. I don't run Discord for the record, everyone. I just use it. There's a lot of things YouTube does that I don't agree with, but I use the server. Anyway, that the amount of slowdown the current iMac is causing you, and if you just keep saying, I gotta wait for the better one, I gotta yeah. wait for the better one, and it ends up being like eight months, I would say, see if you can live with the Mac Mini. And I, I would even say there's a decent consideration you won't want to get the new MacBook. You'll just be like, that's cool and all. They got your ports back, but this is perfect for what I need. And I'm happy with my setup because I get to use whatever monitor I want. Or it was a lot cheaper for the storage and what it offers. And I needed it now. And there's a lot of people in that like conversion point of like, do I wait or my new Mac is... And I, and I think you've crossed that threshold. I think you've crossed that line of like... Uh, I, <laughs> Uh, my current Mac is so bad that I need a new one. And some people haven't crossed that line, in which I would say, like, just keep using your... Like, I haven't crossed that line, in my opinion. iMac Pro hasn't slowed me down significantly to the point that I need a new Mac now. Yeah. But I would I would say you have. My, but, my only concern with the Mac Mini as a whole, uh, it's more universal, is uh, these are my peripheral, or these are my accessories. And, and mm -hmm. there was... I was having disconnection issues the whole time using Nix, and that is that's problematic. It's not as problematic as what I'm using now, but it is still a problem of, of how, okay, if I buy that, what do I need? I need to get an SD card reader now. I might need to get new uh, cabled keyboard and mouse. I might need to get uh, uh, the uh, uh, a new monitor, possibly, because... There's a story with the one that Nick was using, and that's late. just for that's the record. You'd only you'd only need a wired mouse. You can plug in a Magic Keyboard via wire yeah. if you need to. Via so, wire. but if I plug or if you have, you can get one of these trackpads, and you can also plug it in. But but no, but, but, but plugging it in, the the I'm not talking about. There's latency. There was that that disconnection issue that we were. Getting. No, no. When you when you plug when you plug in it via lightning, lightning to USB A and just use it as yeah. a wired keyboard. Then it, it just it there shouldn't be not, latency. Doesn't use Bluetooth. It doesn't. And yeah, it will well, pair it shuts it Bluetooth off. Too, but yeah. yeah, it just turns into a wired keyboard. So really, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. I believe you. Okay, so I just need a mouse. <laughs> then. Okay, just a wired mouse. If the Bluetooth thing is an issue, or like Nick said, you could do a trackpad if you wanted. That can plug in. 
that way if you can <sighs> still be all apple end to end but uh i would say the savings involved in in with your imac are you gonna sell your imac who would buy it <laughs> <laughs> apple might give you some trade-in on twenty dollars or something cover the price the of the... also does uh, trade-in stuff oh I didn't I'm just know a that. B&H rep today. Um, okay. B and H today's sponsor episode me. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored by um, B and H, but we'll bring look it up. Like I can do. Are you still Apple. having Bluetooth connectivity issues with your Mac? No, Nick? I haven't. So I use. Uh, That's good. Ran- Randy noticed it once. Um, I had noticed it like twice before, um, but I haven't noticed it since. Um, I figured I it use, was a software thing. Yeah, I, I it was I, I did do a software update, so I wonder I wonder if that was what fixed it. But hmm. yeah, I my twelve I, mini goes leapfrogging pleased. with the issue because I I will update it and then it the bug comes back where I try to swipe up to go home and it goes to multitasking. Oh weird! And then I update it again and it goes uh, away oh. and then I update it again and it comes back and I'm just like. Nah, come I can't on. I can't buy the Mac Mini on the VH anyway. Like I click on it. Like total pricing yeah, is eighteen forty three. They're 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 closed for Shabbat right now. They'll they'll they're be open tomorrow for morning. It's a Jewish holiday. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. I see. <laughs> well I if like it's knowing not how Christmas, quick Christmas, uh, I don't give a <laughs> flying <laughs> <laughs> They'll be open in four hours and three minutes. As soon as sunset happens in New York, that's that's when they'll be open oh. again, Randy. Why do you know that, Nick? Because <laughs> I'm looking at the website. Yeah, oh, Nick, okay. what? Are you Jewish? It says it at the very top. Check out will be available at 6.30 p.m. Eastern We haven't Saturday talked about this. In four yeah, hours and two minutes. Are you, are you, Thank you for your patience while we observe Nick Shabbat. and his fancy reading skills. Do you read from the Sabbath? <laughs> like, oh, you're, you're, you know, it's not I Sabbath, have a it's Shabbat. Who, I know. I have a friend who's uh, Jewish, and I, go, and I go, oh, you're Jewish? He goes, I'm Jew-ish. Oh, <laughs> my ish. goodness. One of them, huh? Yeah, he's funny though. <laughs> but Mike, like Nick, is really like, oh no, six thirty. You're like, oh okay. So I gotta wait. It's like every week. Yeah. I'm like glad you got as far as the checkout page though. Yeah, that's a good job. Because right now, so, because right yeah. now, was, it doesn't show Apple Pay, and I was like, all right, pay with PayPal. Oh, it does. Uh, it will. I've done Apple Pay. I bought my the Black Magic I'm using right now. I bought from B and H with Apple yeah. Pay. Okay. I will, so, give, a percent. I will his, give up a percentage of cash back if that meant I can get it by the 3rd, which is what, Tuesday? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. next week. Yeah, It's like a matter of days. Yeah. If, if, if I it. could do that. Oh, man, if I get it Wednesday, I definitely can't do a hump day show because that would, like, I'd be setting it up and everything, too. Nah, it doesn't take that long. You can do expedited long. shipping. I believe they have a uh, the exp- faster shipping. I don't want to pay for more for that. And uh, no, I, was, <laughs> I was like, you can set it up, and <laughs> there's a way to fix you it. Can yeah, set it up in an hour. Luck, I'll get it at the end of the day anyway. Because well, a Mac. Just start your Hump Day Show project on Tuesday a, with your Mac. This ain't a PC. Uh, if I get you can uh, set that bad SD boy up in sixty reader, minutes. What at Amazon? Should I go through Amazon for the SD card reader or uh, get an Apple one? And B and H sells them. No. Goes, don't oh, get an Apple one. Goes, yes, get an Apple one. <laughs> this thing apples is, are so expensive. Get one adapter with everything, I think just so that I think it's 40 you're covered bucks, in the future. And this thing is so durable; it's lasted a long 40 time. Forty bucks. Yeah, get a maybe sixty block. bucks. I can't remember. Look it up. Our other but sponsor. It's yeah, <laughs> Apple. This other little startup company we talk about from occasion, occasionally. This 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 is a nice <laughs> SD card reader. I've had plenty of like really flimsy ones that you kind of wonder if like it's gonna like stop working halfway through a transfer but like it's a solid one so drew you, you told you told randy exactly why you think he should go all out on a mac mini and i'm gonna now lay out my very logical and unemotional case on why randy should stay minimal okay. and true to himself and, and get i'm planning to deny possible that possible stop gaps all right okay, okay. so for 649 dollars okay on b and h it's 50 dollars cheaper than apple's website you can get the base model mac mini okay after shipping and taxes, it's going to be actually. There's no, uh, well, maybe with California, there used to not be any uh, state tax uh, or I taxes that. on VH. I, I think, think that they might had have to change that. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, the uh, the Mac Mini will be a little bit cheaper than you can get at the Apple Store. So point in its favor already. Um, the other one that you're looking at isn't on sale. Uh, right. Also, you take you you can get a whole Mac setup, which will be infinitely better than your current Mac. 
for under a thousand dollars that will also allow there to be enough headroom for you to be really excited about the next Mac. Because if you get emotionally attached to this little Mac Mini, that's you know we've kind of established here, you you want more of an Apple laptop, um, you know, four eight terabyte type Mac. Um, you don't really want to be completely married to this Mac Mini forever. And so mm-hmm. if you spend seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred dollars after you get you know keyboard and mouse and accessories and taxes, you're probably going to be pushing around two thousand um, dollars, you know, nineteen hundred, two thousand dollars, and at that point. That's like, in my opinion, forever Mac territory. Like that yeah. kind of two thousand mm. dollar threshold is kind of where it's like, okay, that's not a device I'm gonna just upgrade next year. Like that's a that's a device I'm gonna hold on to and get my use out of. Um, but a seven hundred dollar Mac Mini actually has retained its value very well on eBay. You can you can sell on eBay for six hundred and sixty four dollars, which actually is twenty dollars more than the uh, Mac Mini you can buy on B and H. An open an open, gently used uh, Mac Mini, M1 Mac Mini. So I think, obviously, it's not going to be completely, you know, there's eBay fees, and in a couple months, I'm sure the price will go down a little bit on the used market, but I would definitely guarantee that you could probably get at least 500, definitely guarantee you could probably get $500 back on uh, the Mac Mini when you're done with it, which would take the total cost of this project at 150 bucks, which that would be quite affordable compared to drew's two thousand dollar option um and well, mine involves not getting the macbook oh oh is that what yours is oh okay well yeah i, was I think saying, randy buy okay. this for your forever oh. mac okay well i will tell you the gpu and you know m1x is going to be a lot better and i know i'm going to have definite lust issues as soon as the m1 x comes out i'm gonna be like Lustish. oh this is looking so good but having a dedicated gpu is very important to me uh moving from uh one without one to getting an imac that did have it mm-hmm. um it's really hard to turn away from it um so much so that like uh if if macbook pro comes out macbook pro comes out and we get a new imac redesign it, even if it was the exact same design and it wasn't redesigned and it just gave you the m1x or whatever they're gonna call it plus the dedicated gpu that within itself would have been like that's the one i'm buying the, having a mm-hmm. dedicated gpu is more important uh for performance than uh than storage configuration or ram configuration or even if it's going to be a portable laptop or just a dedicated desktop it's more mm-hmm. important to have those like a dedicated gpu that is a, that yeah. is night and day difference and uh hey, we talked about that nick you're right because like i asked you are you going to keep your m1 uh, Mac, Mac Mini that you have now, or are you gonna try to sell it to get the 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 new dedicated GPU one that would come out? And you were like, "Oh man, it's gonna be really hard." And, and mm-hmm. I know I'm in that territory. Uh, the- I like your logic. I, I I really like your logic, Nick. Likewise with Drew. It, and it's work stoppage. I didn't, and I didn't I, get my SSD little thing in there, but just expect to spend another, you know, couple hundred bucks on an SSD. Well, I already, I already have, that, I already have external SSDs. That and if we you, were and using. if you put the, if you put the Final Cut library on the SSD, if the Final Cut library gets too big, you just nuke it and start over. It's like super fun, and your I, actual hard drive. Yeah. You never <laughs> get the little arrow. <laughs> error. <laughs> super um, fun. I, I. So Drew, just to just to make sure I'm, I'm understanding your stance correctly. Your stance is approaching it from the from the take of this may very well could be my d- dedicated Mac for for years to come and mm-hmm. we can make it work all the same because no because I remember your stance is anything I get right now is better than what I have right now so it's yeah. still gonna I think be- the M1 with its integrated GPU is going to do miles leaps and bounds better than any Intel Mac with a dedicated GPU at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Other than maybe the Mac Pro, but still it's it's been on par performance wise with like the sixteen inch MacBook Pro, which you in the past were saying, you know, thinking about it or yeah. want to get a refurbished, something like that. Yeah. So I'm more like let's find the solution now instead of stop gap and then sell and sure. then find uh, the forever Mac down the road because I'm like, we don't know how long that's going to be. Sure. So if you're planning on keeping the Mac mini for two months, sure, 256 gig, I could live with that for two months. But if it's nine or 10, then I'm like, ooh, yeah. I don't know about getting the cheapest possible Mac mini and having it hold you for that incredibly long. Because it, to me, it like 
it postpones the problem. It doesn't fix it. Mm -hmm. Sure. Whereas like yeah. a maxed out Mac Mini is more of a problem solution. Whereas this is like a band aid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. It's no, like, I, uh, I would totally kind of fixes it. Yeah. yeah. But it's a it's a fair argument, Nick. You almost convinced me with that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> with that pitch. So I don't I don't uh, harp on it. But I still ultimately would recommend just like I think overall. You'd probably end up spending less money if you just bought a maxed out mini now. Yeah, very instead true. Instead of like, and and I personally, I don't know for sure with your workflow, but I think the M1 will do what you need perfectly. I don't, I don't think it'll be a huge bottleneck based on even eight gigs M1, of RAM would do what you need, Randy. I mean, even eight, but I get it. If if you want sixteen, it's only two hundred bucks, and if yeah. you're going to keep it for a long time, it's that's fine. But like M1 was not even a bottleneck when I was using the MacBook Air for the whole network. I yeah. was doing everything on that, and the the only bottleneck was the the two USB C ports being on one side, which the Mac Mini doesn't have. It's got more I/O to choose from. So, yep. I I feel pretty confident in saying if my iMac Pro died on me right now, right this second, and I needed a new Mac quick, I would I would be ordering the B and H <laughs> Mini right there with you. I'd be there. Well, the max out one or, or the the lower yep. the, yeah. I might not get six sixteen gigs of RAM, but storage I would max out. Yeah. The, so the bigger RAM, I think we talked about four. Um, it it, it, yeah. it does benefit logic when it comes to. But running. logic, you, you, you got to you got to look at this from the Scott stopgap perspective, though, Randy. If this is your forever Mac, yes, yeah, sixteen mm -hmm. gigs. But if if your thing is my current Mac is too slow. And I am not yet ready to buy the five thousand dollar, eight thousand dollar Mac because it's not <laughs> here yet. Then the eight gigabytes five, of the mini the is going to be still infinitely better than the sixteen or thirty two that you have on your uh, current Mac. Yeah, I guarantee yeah. that. I mean, we played around with it. I I edit all of my videos. Yours was phenomenal. Yeah. Do you know how hard it was after you left? Do you know how hard it was to go back to the iMac. I I was I was I was like getting more gray hair out of it. I was mad. Randy, you remember we were working on I that was motion project, editing. and I and I had to pull this sucker out, and it was an old yeah. Intel yeah. MacBook Pro, and I was like, oh, that was so hard to use. Yeah. I got mad. I got like, mad after you left because I'm like, that, that was so smooth. What's this? The icons bounce when you click on them. Like, yeah. oh, you want me to yeah. open Logic? Ready? The 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 lifetime rendering that was it's happening. Up. Look at it that. It export it quicker than <laughs> than the actual time of the the file itself and that was doing a 4K file. I'm like this is going quicker than live time. And, and I went from that back to this where I walked away, made a sandwich, went to the bathroom, <laughs> took Kika out to go to the bathroom. Like and I came back and I was at 20% done. I I was so mad. Yeah. No. And Drew had the same <laughs> the issue only thing... editing on my video. Drew was trying to do his you know, and he oh, needs I was it more than I do. Pissed. <laughs> yeah. I was fuming. Yeah. I was editing and I was just like, just play, god damn. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I was, I was just. And then we closed the OBS so and everything and worked and fine again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, OBS was eating up everything. But I guess either way, knowing what you're using it for now, like I'm, I'm for like, let's find a permanent solution as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Not, not like a stopgap solution. Yeah, but sure. the only thing the M1 was a bit worse than my iMac Pro was the export times. But that's I'm using an eight core yeah. Intel Xeon I mean, processor. Yeah. Sure. This is this is the same. Chip yeah, that's in a family. It's a little MacBook. unfair. Let's be let's be I, fair here about the the <laughs> iMac Pro that you. Yeah. Have. it's an iMac yeah. Pro. <laughs> and it has a Radeon Pro Vega fifty six. Which I think the eight gig GPU might play into that as well, <laughs> sure. but I just mean from the editing timeline perspective, how quickly the M1 was able to handle cuts and edits, and I could just hit play and it didn't have to buffer, and all the wavelengths were already ready. Like I, I know the M1. Th that's why I guess my argument of like waiting for a dedicated GPU, which we don't even really know if that's going to be a thing or if integrated GPUs are going to be the norm for even the Mac Pro, just everything sure, becomes sure. integrated. I, I don't think you should, because you can, we talk about this on the podcast before, you can apply that logic to all things. Mm -hmm. You can always be like, well, there will be a faster one later. Yeah, sure. It's like, yeah, but how am I going to properly utilize that extra speed? Like, right. um, if, you're, if you're not in a hurry, like me, there's not really a huge need to rush to the M1 right. um, because my old Mac is still doing okay. But the real-time editing thing was a noticeable difference. Mm. I was like, an improvement, too. And that's with 
a quarter of the RAM. And you had a fanless uh-huh. computer. I had eight gigs of RAM <laughs> and a fanless laptop that was thin and you could throw in a bag and light. And that was outperforming in almost every metric my $6,000 iMac mm-hmm. from 2017. Okay. So I, yeah. I'm just, I'm waiting for the sake of, I, I want the new iMac design. Yeah. That's my <laughs> that's my motivating factor is I want to see a, a newer look. That's yeah. my biggest complaint with my iMac Pro is it just looks kind of dated. Um, everything else I don't really have much to complain about, whereas you have a, a functional work-related mm-hmm. bottleneck, which is why I'm like, fix it, quick! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just All two right. different well, approaches. I'll come, I'll, I'll come back in a couple hours tonight, and I will look online. I'll be honest, you guys very great points on both sides that I don't have an answer. <laughs> if you were to ask me if I'm Nick being was talking honest, about his argument and I was like, dang, Nick, and, and I didn't think honestly, of that. Honestly, this, you, having, <laughs> having like an actual fast laptop SSD plugged in, like, and editing just dang, off Nick, of it. I didn't it, think about that. Like, it's changed my yeah. perspective on Apple SSDs. Like, there, I can't, t- I can't notice of the difference between a Final Cut project that's located on the SSD or on the internal SSD. Like, I don't mm. notice any performance difference. And yet, yep. I just had this one laying around. I think I got it for 150 bucks on Amazon stop a while it, ago. Stop it, Nick! Like stop it's so it. much cheaper. Just stop it. And so, like, stop even it, Nick, stop no, no, it. even even like Future Max. <laughs> like, I, I'm now. I think I've even if I do end up getting like the amazing unicorn MacBook Pro and stuff at some point, I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of storage. Like, I'll get enough to, you know, maybe more than 256. So maybe like 512 or something. But like. What if you want to edit HDR content? Oh gosh, though? I am never making that mistake again. That was uh, it, the problem. Yeah, the problem was it was an hour and twenty minute video. <laughs> it was an HDR at 4K. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Oh. oh, that 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 hurts just hearing that. Um, I'm I'm very proud of this discussion though yeah. because. The whole time, every time someone said something, I'm like, "Oh, true. That's and really same good here, point. Drew. Like, I totally get it. Like, if 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 Randy's looking to <laughs> not play the little waiting game and just get a really good computer, then the the M1 Mac Mini is like the best computer of the year. Like, I know we're at the beginning of I'm downright 2021, jealous. but like, I can't think I can't think of a computer, <laughs> even even the Unicorn MacBook Pro. I cannot think of a computer that's going to be this fast. For this low a price, with this good I.O., with this good thermals, and it's just, yeah. it's perfect. I mean, I, honestly, like, I no I, you brought up that it's 650 650 bucks on B&H, and I'm like, what's the trade-in value on my Intel Mac mm-hmm. Mini? I bet I could get the base model M1 Mac Mini for like 200 bucks yeah. if I traded in my the old fact Mac that Mini. It's, on I, sell, it's $50 Even off. I'm considering it. Honestly? Okay, so let, let, I want to think out loud for a second. The fact that it's $50 That's cheaper than the 12 cheaper. Mini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow. It's 649 before taxes for base model everything it is... It's it's almost this like this is just an ad for B and H. That's what this podcast. <laughs> it really is. is. I love B and H. Those guys are these guys are great. Uh, for six fifty, uh, not not to sound a, a very, I guess take it however it sounds, but um, I could if I had okay. to eat my losses, I can make that up in a month. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Ooh. Like six six fifty, boom. <laughs> six fifty is that worst case scenario. <laughs> Uh, I lost a month of productivity of of of, of revenue, mm-hmm. and and that's and that's fine. Then at that point, if that's the case, um, for six fifty, it, it's really hard. My, my here's my thing, Nick. If it's that sell right now, and they hold that sell. Doesn't that devalue the Mac Mini as a whole when it goes to selling I'm out? I'm literally uh, looking on eBay no. right now, it says and there's limited, there's uh, an limited eight supply. gig, two fifty six gig S, uh, two fifty six gig SSD for six hundred and sixty four ninety nine. Uh, they have six for sale. This company has six for sale. Uh, an individual seller is selling one for six hundred and sixty five dollars. It's that's, like this is still cheaper than what you can get used I, I, on eBay. That's what they're asking. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's what they're yeah, asking. Yeah, and, and I though. and I realize yeah. there's probably a hundred dollars that's going to disappear during the transaction between YouTube, sure. uh, eBay, and PayPal. But yeah. So I want to address the elephant in the room that no one's brought up, and and it's maybe my place to bring it up. I know I am um, not wearing an Apple Watch. I know, I know. This is. <laughs> if I get oh god, I, I didn't think even I notice. Just, I think I can have a better conversation uh, with my wife saying I spent six fifty instead of eighteen hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Because mm. that is a conversation that will be had, 
because we agree. <laughs> like she, she she's comes like, down we, to the wife. Yeah, we have a threshold. It's like okay, at this amount, we should have a conversation before you buy anything. And if I we go, have that too. Yeah, it's one penny. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, so you can't stuff for a half I, penny, Drew. I have a little bit of a looser, <laughs> uh, looser uh, leash, Drew. So, yeah. uh, six fifty. I think I still need to have the conversation, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But I could be like, it's six fifty. Nick brought up some really good points, and uh, it's it's no routes. Am I going to find I was, that price for new? I was playing around with the Apple trade in. Mm-hmm. thing and it's very dumb because you you put in your serial number and then they ask you every exactly. piece of information afterwards like, which is i this thought apple watch made the serial by apple? would tell you um no but it's <laughs> cool because it was like who made it here's the serial number and i gave them mine and then they asked me all these questions so i just put in randy's specs huh, i'm pretty sure it. yeah um I said iMac. I think you got. Is it mid 2015 or late, late 2015? Late 2015. Late 2015. Um, I have and a late 2015. Which processor? Processor is the 3.2 gigahertz quad core Intel i5. Okay, and then you got 512 gig SSD, right? I have a. I have a five. I have a 512 SSD. I have 16 gigs of of. That's what it came with. That doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just it I works. I have the AMD You'll already on the R9. 480. They'll give you 480 for it. Okay. So and I would take that deal. Factor that in. Yeah. I would. Take, yeah, I would take it's that deal. It's not terrible. Honestly, it's about what they give for the Mac Mini too. <laughs> honestly, I I would take that deal, just on Nick's approach, that offsets the out of pocket expense, mm-hmm. even more that I might be able to recoup. You might be positive losses. on this side after you might be a couple hundreds up, <laughs> a couple hundred bucks up after you sell it. Oh my God, Nick! You're about to make me buy you, a Mac. You're going to lose money, Randy, if you don't buy this cheap <laughs> Mac Mini. <laughs> Nick, Nick is it? You literally can't afford to take this deal. <laughs> Not to take this deal. I want that color oh, though. True, I really want true. that color though. It is a good color, but I like how it's like a play button. It feels like. Yeah, it's a but beautiful color. You won't, you won't get this. <laughs> yeah, but you won't get any of that. How many iOS is on the back? What What are the ports? Four Thunderbolt 3 ports, two USB-A, one HDMI 2.0, Ethernet power, yep. headphone jack. And actually, I'm using all of great. the uh, I.O. right now. No HDMI? Uh, yeah, one HDMI. I yeah. said HDMI, too. Oh, it hear. can do 4K 60 mm-hmm. output. So you have more ports on that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Intel yep. Mac Mini still has more yep. I.O. than the M1 Mac Mini, and that's which a limitation of is annoying, the but... That is really Unfortunately... Annoying. Yeah, it's it's a shame, but I mean, you you currently have two Thunderbolt ports on your iMac yeah. anyway, so it's kind of kind of the same thing. Same. I deal. do. Wait, I do. Yeah, Thunderbolt two, not yeah, Thunderbolt USB-C, two. Yeah. but. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're you've right. got two of those. So same with the new Mac Mini. So whatever God, you're what using your iMac data for. Data design. What a data port! <laughs> I just looked at. Oh, I know. I was like, what is that? I've never used those. <laughs> what is that? It's almost FireWire. <laughs> what? Uh, hey, this this USB C is swollen. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna all break out. This is the Mac Mini episode. Dude, I, think. I I guess so. I love it. Like, I. I think Nick just talked me into I want to buy it. one I, know, at I want this to buy point. another one, and I already have two. <laughs> if, if I'm being honest, Drew, you, you bringing out the specs of what I could do my train for the iMac, I would take that deal, and, and I would get the, the, the cheapest Mac Mini on the offset of it. Because I'd recommend already, that regardless. Mm-hmm. I, <laughs> I'd say trade in the iMac even if you get the maxed out Mac Mini, <laughs> yeah, because then I, you will have spent like $1,200 on your forever Mac, which is pretty dope yeah. instead of and then you would have plenty of money left over for airpods max <laughs> we fixed it it came full circle everyone <laughs> look how drew brought it look how drew brought it full circle i love it that's that's some randy magic right there i always find a way to bring it full, cir- brought it full circle there he is oh again God. did i inspire Aww. you did i make you do that <laughs> that's funny. i came up with that uh, i came up with that you know so, hey, uh, I like how the trade-in <laughs> page shows uh, a 10R or an iPhone 8, and uh, you get a, a 12 Mini as the trade-in for it. <laughs> Where are you looking? The, uh, Why the are you on the page. iPhone Go, trade-in? A- a- Apple, tra- Apple trade-in. The what they use uh, is it looks like a t- an, uh, an 8, a white 8, and uh, you get oh, a yeah. 12 Mini. Oh, I see it. So I got. 
<laughs> I, I don't care what okay. the reports say. 12 mini is still my favorite. I, I, I'm sorry, Tim. Don't trade in iPhones, Ooh. though. iPhone no. trade in is trash. It is. 400? Like, uh, that Matt, I can't believe you guys are talking. I might. I can't believe I'm about to do this. <laughs> Dude, you can't right now. There's a built in delay with BH <laughs> on Saturdays. So you got to take a break and relax a little. But, yes. Yeah. I, I do have a question, it. legit question for you guys, though. So, last I checked, my uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, is 2017 uh, half a terabyte blah 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 13 inch MacBook Pro. I believe blah, Apple blah, was going to give me 600 bucks for it, and I have kept oh. it around because I do appreciate having a slightly more portable, like you know, just take it somewhere. But my iPad kind of already fills that role. Mm -hmm. Like there's a few cases where it's like yeah, yeah. that's why I didn't want to yeah. keep the MacBook. And so I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of waiting around. Like it's just taking up space on the desk. I haven't. I don't have a need to get rid of it. I don't need the six hundred dollars right now, but I uh, I don't want okay. it to depreciate too much. You know what I mean? Hmm. Sell it. True. Sell it or sell it <laughs> or trade it in. <laughs> okay. Trade it in. And and put that towards. Yeah. And, I guess and you could that, try to sell it because I feel like if I keep it, then there won't be much of a reason for me to feel like I need the uh, unicorn MacBook Pro, which is gonna. You, you have two iPad uh, Pros, I actually right? am letting my sister. Uh, extended loan situation where she is it's basically hers, oh, okay. but it's still technically mine <laughs> well yeah i found it redundant to have an ipad pro mm -hmm. and a macbook so the fact that maybe one is on loan but you have two ipad pros to me is already kind of yeah. like right. unnecessary well, so have, yeah i, I would see the other one i mean you could consider selling it oh okay well you could consider selling it uh for more just let the trade-in value be yeah. the floor you know d definitely don't accept lower than the trade in for the sell, but the trade in should be like the the bare minimum. You know, okay, I can get that if I don't um, find a good buyer for it. But honestly, I don't know if people would pay much for that. Which is why, if that's accurate, if that's your current trade in value for the um, MacBook, I, I honestly think that's pretty good considering it still has the butterfly keys and the yeah. uh, six hundred and fifty. I just I just checked again. That's not bad. Six hundred and fifty dollars honestly why who's deciding the mac trade-in versus know. the iphone <laughs> trade-in because the iphone trade-in is trash but the but the mac trade-ins are, are honestly not bad yeah. i plugged in my imac pro and it was still nice. around two grand which i'm kind of amazing with. so i'm I, I think my mac mini is 480 i'm gonna check again That's just to see if they changed it for so 480 here, here, here's what i thought about for the imac I'll take the 480, and I'm actually going to probably meet in the middle of your guys, both of your guys' things. I'm going to not get the base mm. model, but I'll probably get a higher, um, I'll probably get a higher, uh, like maybe a terabyte of uh, SSD. Mm. I, I will apply the difference okay. towards specking up, so I'll still probably go out of pocket about a grand-ish, um, just so I can kind of okay. meet in the middle. So that way I feel comfortable, because uh, what Drew is saying that makes the, totally. the most sense from a practicality standpoint is that we don't know what the new mm -hmm. Macs are yet. Well, this is all specu speculative. Or when. When. Yeah. Or when. When More is the bigger issue. Is or how much. When. I feel pretty it confident could be about October. the what, but knowing Apple with everything else that's been delayed, we don't know how the... I mean, last time I checked, we're still in a pandemic state. Things are still delayed. So we don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah. We still don't have air tags, for God's sake. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I... I I would better. They lost I, them. I would. <laughs> <laughs> they can't find the air tags. The batteries. The batteries died. Tim on Cook them is and like. Find we them. have a great new product to announce today. We what? can't and find here, them. Where is it? Oh, let me just uh, Wait. find it. <laughs> Wait. It, what, Check the find my, find app. my. We can't, sir. The, they're dead. The, the batteries are dead. The one reason I wouldn't sell you this Mac Mini is it's 128 gig, Ugh. which was still a thing back when they sold this so oh gross but the fact that it's 128 gig and i just checked apple still will give me 480 for it makes me think that's probably better than what anyone would be willing yeah. to pay for it yeah. if i tried to sell it because it's 128 gig which the the os itself takes up like 30 gigs i think so it's pretty pathetic but i reset it and everything it's like it's running uh what's mm, the last catalina? one catalina not big sir Catalina, yeah. It's still running Catalina. I think it looks cool, though. I'm just going to keep it on my What's desk. What's this third-party pho Phobio? That's, so if you're going to do it through B&H, uh, <laughs> &H, B &H partners with Phobio uh, to 
No, so does Apple. I'm talking oh. about trading it in. Okay. Are they both I, going I, through Fobio? I just finished for the trade. <laughs> Keep going, Nick. I want to see where you were so, going with that. Uh, Fobio yeah. was just the uh, BNH's <laughs> advertising. Uh, the, they have a trade-in program. It might be the same as Apple's. I don't know. I just sent you the link. Oh, so this that's is, interesting. Yeah. Maybe it's more. I don't it know. It is. It goes to the same dump oh, in Vietnam. Don't they say throw that. Them the same. <laughs> Yeah, it's telling me that. Um, so I clicked like, okay, I'll, I'll uh-huh. accept the 480, and it goes. I uh, I understand this information I provided will be sent to Fobio and and will be used by Fobio uh, solely for the purpose of I facilitating the Apple Trade In program and any other services I, I may want. And I'm like, what's Fob- what's Fobio? I see that. <laughs> so I'm filling out my information. Fobio. I mean, uh, this is gonna happen. Huh. I think regardless, I'm getting rid of this thing because it can go suck eggs for all i care i don't care anymore uh the awkward part is when you get rid of the mac and your new mac isn't there yet and you're just like i won't let that happen there will be there will be a lapse of product (laughs) there there has to be an overlap period does not currently have a 16 gigabyte one terabyte ssd uh, available for sale right now they have an eight Uh, they have an eight uh, they have eight 16 two terabyte eight gig five twelve they have a 16 gig 256 and an 8 gig 256 and the eight, uh, 16 gig 512. Hmm. I love how major a player the Mac Mini has now become. It was a computer no one people. talked about, and I always I, there was always like a little bit of love. Uh, it for was it. like glossed no over. It, no one took it seriously. Mm-mm. But now it's just become like this. You can't you beat literally, it. You it's so hard to find a if, Mac. If with Randy a, were to follow my recommendations, which are perfect and never failing, he literally would <laughs> make money in doing this whole thing. I like how Nick is like, Randy, you need to buy this Mac Mini. And I'm like, no, Randy, you need to buy this Mac Mini. <laughs> the debate has become Yeah, which we're not Mac even talking Mini about MacBook Pro or MacBook we Air. Oh, yeah, we're past that. We're past, the moment we talked about it giving you yeah. more I.O. than any of the other ones, and... I and get the best USB-A thermal. still, which That's means I don't have to get adapters. Part. I, even, even exporting, transcoding, like 10 gigabyte uh, motion projects. I remember. I don't hear it. There's a fan in there somewhere. I remember. It's impressive. I hear I hear my MacBook fan spinning right now, and it just has Safari open. If, 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 I, if I could be <laughs> a little vain about it, um, the only thing I would make the Mac Mini a no-duh, even though it's still no-duh, is that Four I want ports. Space Gray. If they had Space a Mac Gray Mini is, Pro... Is beautiful. I would take silver if it had four Thunderbolt mm. three ports and M one. That would be like ooh. Ooh, sounds like so uh, good. sounds like you want a Mac Mini <laughs> there, Drew. M one. <laughs> if the iMac Pro conked out, that's my immediate plan B. Give me about if nine it... hours to get there, and we'll, we'll make it conk out. I'll just ask you, hey, go, 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 just... go, 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 play tennis really quick. Yeah, oh, do Drew, something. the water main broke on your ceiling. Oh and... no, Drew, I was working off of your computer. And it fell five times. <laughs> Oops. Five times. <laughs> five times. What's the trade in value now? It fell off your desk Maybe, five uh, times. Linus Tech Tips will try to open it up and, <laughs> and then <laughs> it'll shatter. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeah. You know what's interesting is that it's six fifty on B and H. There is no computer, PC, Linux, or Mac that you could get with that I.O. And that kind of plug-and-play performance of the M1 chip, the fact that you can get an M1 processor for 650, provided you, you know, have your own monitor and stuff, that is like the death of the Apple tax. You know, that is like mm-hmm. Apple now has some clear hardware performance advantages that others can't keep up with. So that just gets me so pumped for more desktop Apple Silicon. Ooh. It's a beast. I every it time is. I do anything with it, I'm always like, "But seven, I got it seven hundred nine dollars out of the store." That, wow! Uh, it was open That's box. A good so there's deal. a few scuffs on the back, and I'm kind of so regretting not going through B and H. For two hundred dollars <laughs> more, I get half a terabyte instead of a quarter terabyte. Mm-hmm. And it's still. But for two hundred dollars more, you could get a two terabyte external hard drive. That's pretty fast and goes over USB C. Mm. What? I hear you. <laughs> I hear I you. Hear you? <laughs> no, I'm pausing because I'm like, it's, yeah. And honestly, when you have the Final Cut libraries on the external hard drive, I have 
I was I was thinking I'd no, I'd notice like some kind of difference, like whether like <laughs> it's not bringing in quite as many like little what do they call keyframes or whatever like whatever those little things are, or like I noticed some jittering. I have noticed no difference, and all of my stuff goes straight to the SSD, and I am all about hmm. SSDs right now. If you could, what are we going to talk about when we all have our Macs? <laughs> what, Hopefully it'll be iPhone season by that time. No, the so, iPhones are gonna yeah, suck. iPhone 12 S is gonna. We're gonna talk have about how I port. used that two hundred dollars savings to uh, apply it toward, towards AirPods Max. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, Drew. Would you get Would you get a third party case for AirPods Max? Have you seen some of those? I, I saw a few articles on them. And I wouldn't. I, the fact that these cases exist, kind of like genuinely, I think they kind of piss me off because those things are terrible. <laughs> To me, the the fact that the third party cases exist is evident that the product isn't worth it. It's like if you are selling third party cases to fix the inherent problems of five hundred and fifty dollars headphones, I think there's a that's why that's <laughs> why I issue. can't I can't buy I can't buy the AirPods Max because there is there is a problem with that, and I refuse. Like portability is more important than anything. Having these little you know uh, cases, these uh, tic tac cases. Yeah. For the oh, record, amazing. I do not miss AirPods Max at all, not even slightly. Oh. I'm completely happy with my. That's because you're a Neanderthal <laughs> about audio, and I don't blame you for it. It's okay. I miss that's correct. I miss AirPods Max about three hundred dollars worth. Yeah, that's, that's how much I miss AirPods worth. Max. That's about right. That's about right. Yeah, that's about right. I can see that. Um, well, yeah, so that's true. what we said in the podcast. Is like they they could be recommendable at three fifty to four hundred somewhere around mm-hmm. there. I, I want to conclude my thought here on a Mac Mini. What dongle right. do you recommend then that I would get for an SD card reader? Because that's the only thing that I would need the port for. Only reason I don't recommend Apple's is because they really seem to like doing one purpose adapters, yeah. which in my opinion is a waste. I'd rather, especially if I'm dropping 30 to 40 or $70, one of their adapters is super high, is uh, like, so, it doesn't have to be quack quack, but something like a quack quack is just going to last you. Like I've been using like the same adapter since 2016 because I used right. it with my MacBook Pro, and I can attach it to different things and and change it depending on the Mac I have at the time. Whereas just getting a one purpose port, you know, it saves you one thing. But how dumb are you going to feel if you buy a MacBook Pro later with an SD card slot, but you spent all this money on a dedicated you can be like there's no purpose for this now because i got a mac with an sd card slot this is literally useless whereas uh if you buy an adapter that has i don't know ethernet and some usb a and some stuff that the macbook pro might not have but you a run into a situation SD card reader or something yeah something something extra that's like okay the macbook doesn't have that so i can still use this adapter i bought with my mac mini earlier in the year whereas if you buy a single purpose adapter it's just like it's good for that one thing and if they end up bringing it back or if i move to something else it's useless so would you say there's that, more that, applications would you say that's still applicable if i was to use that same adapter for the ipad pro because that's what Nick uses the yeah. SD card reader for is mm-hmm. he, he, he uses yeah. it between iPad Pro and Mac Mini. And that's his I've used go. my quack quack with the iPad countless times, all the time, yeah. So okay. it's I can do more stuff with it outside of just SD cards. So if you're if you're dropping over forty bucks, might as well just get something that covers everything, not one. What's up, Nick? I appreciate that, Drew. I I appreciate your feelings and all of your thoughts, but I'm going to respectfully disagree with you. You suck, okay. Drew! Um, <laughs> Very respectful. $39. I didn't think of that. This is only $39. This amazing adapter. <laughs> it takes your SD cards and puts them to USB-C Gen 3.1 USB, so it's a little bit quicker, and Here's here's what I'll say. I have two things two things to say about this. One, I used to have uh, back in the good old days, 2016. I had a 12 inch MacBook, and I also had my Pro camera, so I was dealing a lot with uh, SD cards. And I had a HyperDrive uh, third party uh, little adapter that had a USB pass, the USB C pass through, SD cards, and USB and HDMI, USB A and HDMI. Um, and this little thing was 
quite flimsy and cheaply built. It was made out of aluminum, but there was something about like the connection of the USB plug that I always was like, eh. and sometimes if I bumped it while I was transferring something from the SD card to the computer, if I bumped it, it would stop. And so ever since then, I've always had this hesitation with SD cards where I'm like halfway through, you know, transferring a 10 gigabyte file and it's, you know, three minutes in and I'm just always like, ah, don't touch it. It might break and then stop working and I have to restart. And so there's always been this little hesitation in me with SD card readers. This eliminates that. This has a nice long little cable so you can knock it around and the uh, actual USB-C port is like super snug, Apple product, premium build. I think you get that. The other thing I'd say, as a video guy, photographers don't really have to worry about this too much because they're taking pictures that are measured in the gigabytes, not in the, you know, many, many or megabytes, not in the gigabytes, like video files. You know, we, we transfer big video files. Um, so what I always recommend is getting the fastest SD card reader that you can. And a lot of those SD card readers, like with Quack Quack or other Amazon readers, are not as fast as this one. This one is using uh, UHS hyphen II speeds. I have no idea what that means, but Apple's <laughs> website's making it look like it's pretty fast. Um, and I have noticed that. Um, I do use faster SD cards because I'm recording video and you have to have the you know, you have like the so, uh, SanDisk Extreme Disk uh, uh, SD card, Randy. And so this will support slightly faster transport speeds than possibly, you know, like a, a no name one. But it's possible you could find a no name one that's just as fast. So those are my two things better build quality and slightly faster. And it's only $39. My negative, dro- my negative experience is that I bought a Lightning to SD card reader for my iPad Pro way back in 2015. And that was from Apple, and it broke. It stopped working. So I, I don't have positive. Somewhere. And I've had that since 2013. <laughs> and, Randy, you know how Nick is with his tech. If he says something's <laughs> fragile, it's probably not that fragile. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Oh boy, new AirPods! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, uh, I don't. I, my quack quack has aged well. I'm not worried about it breaking. Okay. You know, the, and I know I, what Randy I will takes say is good in care my of his research, tech. Uh, for finding one, <laughs> uh, I will make the decision based off of fastest transfer file. It does me no good getting a slow uh, transfer speed from SD card reader to through the adapter to the Mac. Um, so if I can find the fastest one for the cheapest price, I'm not so worried about smacking it around because it will probably, well, I'm 90%, 99%, it's going to live on the, iMac, on the Mac Mini anyway. So I'm not going to be knocking it around regardless. So um, durability, I, I would hope it's durable, but it's, that's not the deal. It, transferring the speeds, um, it would be the most important part. So if I can find one at a cheaper price than $39.99 plus tax that that I would go with that one. So I just did a little bit of quick research on the UHS two speeds, and evidently it's like a bus. only Apple. <laughs> it's a bus level connection, so uh, it's it's like bus only. level. Well, it's only not it's not Apple. USB. It's not a USB connection. It's backwards compatible with USB, but it's a it's a it's on the bus level, so it, it can hit Thunderbolt type speeds. So I think the limitation would be the SD card speed, the read speed on the SD card, which is typically about 190 megabits a second. So then my new question is, can I hmm. find something cheaper than 39.99? Is would be my my next thought is uh, saving costs. Because if I'm going to spend 650 dollars for a Mac Mini, that doesn't mean I'm just going to shell out you know 80 bucks for an Apple proprietary little cable thing that is Apple only at Apple, you know, so. But when hey, iPhone um, switched to USB C, so I that, honestly go ahead. Wouldn't even I, I don't even know if you want to consider a USB C to uh, SD because you only got two on the Mac Mini. So if you have one that's occupied a whole Thunderbolt three port that's just occupied for SD cards at all times, that's I fair. I don't know. So maybe something the, else could the be the thing used is there. I would use HDMI for one of the monitors that I have that's HDMI anyway. So there goes mm-hmm. that port. And one, if I did use one for SD card reader, that still opens up another SSD, which I would use. I mean, uh, uh, that would open up the Thunderbolt thund- 3 uh, USB- SSD. Yeah. But I would use that for the my my external SSD that I have. Mm-hmm. And then the other four would be my preamp, the uh, the 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 Cam Link. My well, hold on, you only have two keyboard. USB ports. Two USB USB-A. ports. USB A. Two USB A. Yeah. And I- two USB C. Then 
I would Honestly, so I think I would get something that's the, the. I would not get the only. I would go with Drew's route. You'd probably need a hub that then. gives me more ports. Because yeah. I, I already have my dock. I have my USB C dock, so I have a lot of like the screen capture card or the video yeah. capture card is running out of my dock right now through a USB. Yeah, I, I would use. I'd take Drew's approach then and and get something mm-hmm. that gives me uh, more ports. Like all the Quack Quacks give you like three USB A ports back. So in that situation, mm-hmm. I would say. I'd rather have the versatility over the speed because I'd rather be able to plug in everything and leave it there instead of have a whole Thunderbolt port just for a SD card feels overkill. Yeah, that's fair. Or so, wasteful. So uh, Apple did good on their earnings this this week. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Money. <laughs> because of M1 Mac Mini. That's why. Good, good job, Apple. No, because of Great iPhone. Great sales, sales for the Mac. did grow, if I recall correctly, right? <laughs> they did. They did. It was the first time in a long time. Over 20%? Yeah iPads grew over 40%. I, I, I only wanted to bring up the earnings call just so if there's some diversity, even if it's on the last second of the show. <laughs> so when I, when I go to write the show description, I can say, Drew, Nick, That's and right. Randy talk about M1 Mac Mini, earnings. iPhone 12 Mini, I think once that was mentioned, and then the Apple earnings call. <laughs> this is, for those wondering, this is what most conversations are like off the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. It's mainly like, what should I get? Should I get this? Or, no, you should get this. This is probably the most realistic episode we've had in a while. This is the most trans- transparent conversation I think we've ever had. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't like it, make sure to smash close. that dislike button and leave us alone. Nick, so is there going to be you, an, you, a, is there going to be this... another Mac Mini in the podcast by next episode? Uh, there better be, Randy. I'm going to come to your we'll house be, and I'll make sure you do. I'll be texting you guys late in a couple hours and let you know what it is. Yeah. Better. I think I, I think I should get the green light. It's from, in jiggle uh, mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Deep after, down after the I surface. get the green light from uh, from the hierarchy from the monarch here, uh, I gotta. I gotta get the, after I get the approval and the green light from there, um, we will. From Kika. We, yeah, that's right. That's right. And then I will continue the conversation about which one it will be. But um, yeah. Yeah. Seven hundred dollars. I hope we have some uh, new Apple information by next week. Hopefully there is some news because this was a stretch, folks. All you, all you fake leaker accounts, get busy this week, or else we're not going to have anything to talk about next time. <laughs> all you fake leaker, I want a bunch of leaks for us to say won't happen. Come on, that's right. I like controversy. Uh, Everyone's wrong. Everybody's Bye. Wrong. Have a great week. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs>